My body is a tree. My body is not a tree. That was a metaphor. I, I think I was thinking of being fixed in one place. Instead, it is something between human and not. An oscillation. My body is extending beyond its bounds. I'm Jamie. I'm here. White forelimbs, some work. Gender to be decided. Depends on the day, depends on the weather, depends on who's asking. Blue mask on my face. Elephant trunk emerging from the top of my head. A machine inflating and deflating my lungs as I speak. Dark red hair, well hidden ginger beard. Wheelchair, an enormous six wheeled monster which rises into the air, growing, black, sleek, headrest behind me, arms on armrests, machine, bag on the back, clothes, they're not my body, it's the wheelchair, I'm not sure, black boots, orange tracksuit, orange eyeliner, orange eye makeup, orange nails, sensing a theme? Maybe I'm the opposite of a tree. I went for bright colours. I went for, you're here to stare, so I'll give you something to stare at. I went for the line between natural and artificial, because I'm interested in those boundaries between the human and the world. As a poet, I'm interested in the ways my work keeps finding its way back towards nature, even as I extend the artificiality of my existence. Fibrosis. If you graft orange buds onto a lemon tree, they grow together. A fruit salad tree of sharp bitterness and sugar. Or the bud dies. Connecting to incompatible things is harder than you would think. My body knows this. Maybe while I slept, a tree was grafted onto me. My root stock rotting, necrotic buds flowering from my heel. Sometimes lightning splits a tree hollow like a cave, but it keeps growing spindly branches. Nobody told it it was broken, or maybe it always knew. Both are possible. Hollow things grow strangely. And yet we grow. Trauma changes our genetic sequence. I am fibrosed. My muscles become woody, trees grow thicker, year on year. I do not, but I have roots. My legs are trees. Leech nutrients? No, drain poison. The cold splits my branches, cracks appear in my skin. I swapped transient legs for permanent bark. A tree doesn't travel. It doesn't need to. It knows the forest, sends signals beneath the floor, swaps breadth for depth. Trees whisper at night. People don't notice. Or do they miss the voices that I hear? The grafted tree is neither one nor the other, nor is it both. Maybe I just dreamed I was a tree, but I store carbon dioxide at night. Or I did. The machine breathes for me now. The human body is just, it's so fundamentally, intensely natural. And that leaves us subject to natural processes. Sometimes I think humans constantly think of ourselves as not being. We build a sanitised society in which we aren't a part of nature. And then I think of what it's meant to find myself. I looked at my seat, and eels slid out from underneath me. There was a cavity, and in my skin there was a cavity, and my skin, slippery, was bathed in seaweed. How did I not know? This kelpie, who did I not know? This kelpie fumbled my aching bones, and I collapsed. 
Around them, I collapsed, around there, as if to melt into saltwater seas and disappear, to swallow froth and disappear, to swallow froth and look at my seat as eels slid out from underneath me. Somehow, the further I bring my body into conversation with nature, the more legible it becomes for me. Birdsong. Each winter, told that I am dying, the signs point to no again. The crow, balanced on my hospital bed, laughs. I do not laugh back. It's how the days curl in on themselves, wincing from cold. They do not wish to be out after dark. And suddenly my scalp is bleeding. It must be the bird or you. It is hard to tell men from winged demons. You, ponderous, you slick with oil and rotted fish, maybe. I become a bird myself, gash the scalp of the child who did not wish to be kept out after dark, who did not wish to become a bird. I'm interested in nature and the body as coalescing around horror and for me part of poetry is a way of bringing the grotesque the natural and, I guess, attempting to create something that is both beautiful but also horrible, like bodies. <laughs>